and welcome back to the channel. On this video, I want to talk about what my next bike would be. Now, I don't know if I'm getting an ever, another bike besides the next one coming, which is the Graffiti X. <clears throat> but if I were, I think I know what bike I would like. And it is, again, uh, going back to Canada for this bike, it's the Beachman 64. That would be my choice. <clears throat> probably uh, for the next bike and it's basically it looks just like a motorcycle but it still has pedals and it comes shipped at 20 miles per hour class 2 so let's call it an e-bike but anyway it doesn't matter whether it's an e-bike or e-motorcycle that would be probably something that I would uh, choose Although the price is a little bit higher than I've spent before. So let's talk a little bit about this bike. First of all, it's outstanding look, looks wise. And I know looks don't mean everything, but I love the vintage motorcycle look of uh, an e-bike. So that's definitely for sure two thumbs up. And then something else that features that I've never had before and that's 72 volts the motor is a 3000 watt I don't know what the motor peaks at it does have a 40 amp hour battery and it is supported by a motorcycle frame which is totally awesome I mean that I think you're gonna have no trouble feeling comfortable uh, riding that bike at higher speeds I think you're gonna have uh, no issues with the bike handling the uh, speeds should you go faster The, uh, speaking of speed, so the top speed on this bike, you can go beyond the class two. It does have a top speed unlocked at 35 miles per hour. So it's not gonna win any races, although something tells me with a 72 volt uh, battery and a 3000 watt motor that there's more to give. Um, and so uh, I did email Beachman to ask about the controller on the bike, but I have not had a response yet at the, um, as I record this video. So if I do, if I do get an update, I will let you know about the controller. Uh, because I am curious as to what what kind of a controller they're using and how many amps it is. The uh, tires are 18 inch. The uh, other cool thing about this bike is it has folding pedals that can fold up, which is kind of nice, I like that. Hydraulic disc brakes. It does come with mirrors, horn, fenders, and it's got all the lights that you need, including turn signals, brake light, headlight, And as they call it, a loud horn. So, and it does look like a decent display uh, on the bike as well. Uh, the rider, so the weight of the bike, I gotta mention this. So the weight of the bike with a battery is 220 pounds. So we're talking a big brute of a bike here. Uh, so lots of weight to it. Um, seeing that it's a motorcycle frame um, doesn't totally surprise me that it's heavier but like like I was saying earlier I think you're gonna feel pretty secure on this bike 
sounds funny to be 220 pounds and just be an electric bicycle, but... So, some other stuff. So the rider on the bike, it'll handle up to a 200, no, 300 pound rider. So me being 175, you could put just about two of me on the bike and have no issues. So the seat height uh, I didn't mention yet is 31 inches. Two thumbs up for that for me. Perfect. Because that's about the size of this Lyric Graffiti that I'm riding now is 31 inches and that's probably the height that I like. Uh, if I'm choosing. Uh, it does come with a steering, uh, lock steering and an alarm system. Which is really cool. And it also comes with a VIN number. So hey, if you want to register this bike and get some insurance on it, there you go. Uh, let's see, what else was I going to mention about this bike? Okay, it's the price. I didn't mention the price. It does come, I should say, too, in multiple colors, including black and black seat. It comes in either black or tan seat, and these are uh, leather. And I personally like the black bike and the black seat but you can mix and match uh, multiple colors to choose from and two seat colors uh, whether you like the tan or whether you like the black take your pick I like the all black I think that bike looks really sleek I love the, uh, the look of this bike I can't say that enough uh, so the interesting thing is here on their website it's kind of weird because okay so the bike is available now, right? You can buy it. And you can buy it in the US and in Canada. Of course, the company's in Toronto. So it looks like the shipping in Canada is free from what I can gather. And if you're shipping it to the US, I uh, found out it's uh, $599. So it's not cheap to, to ship this bike, um, but it is $599 to ship the bike to uh, the US. And the price is kind of weird here because it's 4,600 US, right? And in Canada, it's 4,699 Canadian dollars. So it's $99 more Canadian than America. Not quite sure why that is or if there's something wrong with that pricing or if that's correct. But if it is, it's almost better to buy the bike in in Canadian funds because you'd probably get it it would come out to be cheaper obviously because the dollars I don't know what the dollars running at yet or now but it's somewhere in the 70 or low 70 cents so um, and one other thing I wanted to mention about the bike is when you get it shipped to you the cool thing is you don't have to do anything the bike comes already assembled um, so you don't have to assemble anything and so it comes on a on a pallet or skid and then you just have to uh, lift the box off Basically, remove it from the, the pallet and you're ready to ride because the thing also comes charged up. The battery is fully charged when you get it. So we're talking delivery out for a ride, just like that. So check it out, it's the Beachman 64. They have a new bike coming out too called the Aviator. And that bike is uh, going to be in the, uh, 
that bike is going to be out in the fall or in the sometime in 2025 they didn't really say exactly when but uh It's sometime in 2025 and it's going to be a little bit different because they're going to have the standard e-bike and then they're going to have a light motorcycle that will reach speeds of 45 miles per hour with no pedals. It's going to be pegs and all their bikes come with VIN numbers, so which is cool. But check it out, Beachman 64. I will leave a link in the description. So that's going to do it for this video. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, just hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit the notification bell and you'll be notified. And also, if you want to comment on this video or any other videos, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.